the economic and geopolitical center of gravity of the world is shifting towards Asia in the 21st century, ushering in the Asian century. ASEAN in India together represent a combined population of 1.85 billion and a GDP of over 3.8 trillion US dollars, creating one of the largest economic spaces in the world. India looks towards constructively engaging with the region politically and economically, as well as by reviving age-old historical links with the countries of Southeast Asia. The ASEAN-India Strategic Partnership is the cornerstone of India's Act East policy. In the 25 glorious years of partnership, ASEAN-India have unlocked a series of milestones. This relationship between ASEAN and India, however, is not recent. In fact, its rich history of maritime trade and ancient cultural linkages dates back to the 5th century BC. Archaeological finds from India and Southeast Asia indicate strong trade relations flourished between them in the early times. These historical artifacts stand testimony to the fact that maritime trade is not new to India. Moreover, trade in ancient times was vibrantly multidimensional. The regions enjoyed not just an exchange of goods, but also of language, script, philosophy, art and culture. Some Indian and Southeast Asian festivals till date celebrate our age-old maritime links. These bonds have only grown and strengthened over the years. Today, India-ASEAN trade and investment relations have been growing steadily, with ASEAN being India's fourth largest trading partner. In fact, India's trade with ASEAN has increased by 25 times in last 25 years. The oceans prove to be one of the most critical maritime transportation links in the world. Hence, ports and shipping are the backbone of ASEAN-India containerized trade. India, being a maritime nation, is home to an economic zone of 2.4 million square kilometers. 90% of our trade by volume and almost all of our oil imports is carried via sea. In 2012-13, two-way trade between ASEAN and India crossed 75 billion US dollars. With tremendous growth potential, ASEAN-India bilateral trade can achieve up to 200 billion US dollars by 2022. The Blue Economy Model, an emerging pillar of sustainable growth, provides tremendous scope for cooperation. The latest technology allows capturing of maritime and climate data, which is relayed to a satellite system. We understand the importance of this model in boosting immense economic and employment potential. In India, we are implementing targeted programs for re-energizing economic activity in our islands and coastal areas. Sagar Mala is an effort to build new ports or modernize old ones with a total outlay of 60 billion US dollars. We aim to complete all these projects by the year 2020. There is also renewed focus on strengthening marine research developing eco-friendly marine industrial technologies, promoting sustainable fisheries and ensuring the protection of the maritime environment. As part of Prime Minister Modi's Neighbourhood First policy, India remains committed to extending port connectivity among the littoral states of the Indian Ocean and beyond. We wish to extend a range of projects to our neighbouring nations as well.
The oceans are prone to security threats like piracy, smuggling, maritime terrorism, natural disasters, illegal fishing, and trafficking of humans and narcotics. Nations can prosper only when the seas are safe, secure, and enjoy freedom of navigation. ASEAN India actively participates to develop an international security architecture that strengthens the culture of cooperation and collective action. As mature and principled nations, we bear the primary responsibility for the peace, stability and prosperity of the maritime domain that we share. India endeavours to peacefully utilise the seas to forge connectivity and promote commerce with the concept of Sagar. We seek a future for Indian Ocean that lies up to the name of Sagar security and growth for all in the region. We see the common maritime domain as not just a water body, but a global stage for continued economic social and cultural dialogue. It is imperative that we succeed in evolving a meaningful cooperative strategy for ensuring peace, progress and prosperity in this region.